What's up, people? This is sort of uh, Daniel at night-ish. Not really night. Maybe, uh... It's not even the evening. It's only like 429 where I'm at. It's night somewhere. <laughs> it's... It's fucking drinking time somewhere in the world. Uh... So, uh... I think it's... I think it's hilarious. Uh... On Twitter... Uh, Torrance Davis, a uh, guy I follow, and uh, the guy who runs the War Zone on Fridays that I never get to go to because I work every Friday. He uh, he's like, uh, who's getting Monster World or Monster Hunter World? And I was like, I'm getting it on the Xbox. He's like, I know. He's like, I can't remember what he said. Something like, uh, I figured figures. I'm like, why would I get it on any other system? I have the X. So, I mean, why would I get it on my PS4? If I had the money, I'd probably get it on both. Uh, but I can't really afford that. So I'm getting it on the one. It's just the way it is. That's just how it is sometimes. And when you're broke, you gotta pick and choose your battles. And I choose you, Pikachu. So anyways, um, let me adjust this a little bit up. I've, I've got it kind of sitting in my, uh, sitting in my, my fucking shit's broke. Uh, it's hard to explain, but it kind of sort of fits right there. It's almost too big to fit right there where I've got it at, but, uh, it fits. Uh, so I'm buying Monster Hunter World, and, uh, frankly speaking, there's very little reason to buy any third-party games on the PlayStation 4 if you've got a 1X. Uh, there's very little reason to get buy it. And there'll be the occasional, uh, poorly optimized game. Even a poorly optimized game should run better on the 1X. Uh, the One X is better in every fucking thing that matters. Uh, there's there's literally nothing worse about the hardware. Everything's significantly better. Everything loads faster. Uh, everything plays better. There's gonna be there's always gonna you're always gonna have your exceptions to the rules. Titanfall <coughs> two had some issues. <coughs> uh, those issues are basically gone. Uh, but yeah, so I'm buying that. Um, what else am I buying? I'm sure I'm buying something else, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, Crackdown 3, uh, State of Decay 2. Those are basically my early ones. God of War 3, or God of War 4, or God of War fucking out of War. That'll be my next PlayStation 4 game. Uh, I've been just fucking... I've been playing Subnautica like fucking religiously. Whenever I got a minute to play some video games, I play Subnautica. Any of my Xbox One. Uh, anybody on my uh, Xbox friends list could probably tell you that. Um, I really like the game. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but the story's mostly done. Ooh. Uh, finding shit can be a little bit annoying, but I'm, I'm really enjoying the gameplay, so... What the fuck? That's what games are for, right? To have fun? Uh, I've been playing some Watch Dogs 2. Uh, I've been liking Watch Dogs 2. The main character's a lot more... Uh, likable than the first game. The first game character was a dick. I mean, he was a hard ass, but he was a fucking kind of a dickhead. And it was hard to like the, the main character in the first game. And it's really easy to like the main character in the second game. He's corny as fuck, but you know, whatever. Uh... <laughs> What else have I been playing? I played some Fable 2. Um, 
I played, uh, I played something on my computer, but I can't remember the fuck it was. I'm fucking tired. I needed to distract myself while I'm driving. Not like distracted driving, distracted. I just needed to distract my brain, you know, from falling asleep. And just fucking ramble on about life. Uh, I, I need to harass the guy that's supposed to install the rest of my windows. I need to at least get my last window from the fucker. Uh, my kitchen window. I need to get that from him. Uh, there's some other shit that needs to be done. I got money. Uh, I was thinking about going and picking up the sink. Or maybe uh, getting the plumbing under my house, my new house, fixed. Because right now it's running like quarter inch all, all over the place. And uh, it, it's the fucking water pressure. It's just garbage. It's garbage. As uh, Bill Burr would say, garbage. Bill Burr. Been watching a lot of Bill Burr again because Bill Burr is hilarious as fuck. Oh, it's supposed to be 20 and I'm going 50. Not the greatest thing in a fucking crossover. Get away with that, my old Pontiac. Ooh. Not so much in this fucking crossover. I gotta slow the fuck down when I make these sharp goddamn bends. Uh, there's another one. Going twice the speed of the bend recommended. Especially when there's a big fucking 25 foot drop right next to it. What else? Oh. I've been watching a lot of fucking anti feminist shit. Because I hate feminism. I hate the. I don't hate the uh, natural core ideology of feminism, but I hate what I hate what feminism is today and what it stands for today. And uh, Christina Hoff Summers has a, a little thing called "Who Stole Feminism," uh, and it's uh, feminism has become less about equality and. <laughs> more about fucking uh, stacking the deck. And I can understand. Uh, I can understand to a point, right? But why why would you want to as, as ladies, ladies, why would the ladies want to act like men? We're men. And why would all these men want to act like fucking ladies? There's a whole fucking slew of fucking white knights out there. And they're fucking cringeworthy, dude. These fucking bitches. And what's so cringeworthy about fucking white knights is, uh... When I look back at myself, I, I was a fucking white knight. You know? I wasn't fucking trying to grab pussy by the time I was fucking by the time I was interested in fucking chicks I'd, I'd moved past that part of my life but for a small portion of my life that was me and to a point it was more innocent right because I was like fucking 9, 10, 11, 12 years old and that kind of shit uh, I didn't do it for fucking pussy but a lot of these fucking white knights are over here white knight and hoping to get some fucking pussy. Dude, the only thing you're gonna get is fucking friend zones. And to the bitch who keeps on telling me friend zoning doesn't exist, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> friend zoning doesn't exist. Friend zoning exists. So, uh. I've been watching all kinds of fucking ones that are like over the top, like some of these fucking crazy MGTOW guys. Uh, not all of them are crazy, but sometimes they take shit way too, way too fucking serious, uh, way too far. But I feel bad for this thing. So I watched this report about Israel where uh, they'll arrest a guy even if there's no evidence. So, um, 
this guy spent months in jail, uh, and and his his ex. What she would do is she would she would take him back and then she would call the cops, right, and say that he beat on her and that he raped her and and shit. It got so bad, and they would just pick him up. Like, <sighs> hold on, I gotta outrace this fucking big ass truck. You hear that? That's my horses. Well, it took a while to fucking go into fourth gear. Jesus Christ. I was almost 80 miles an hour before it kicked into fourth. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so these, this lady would, uh, she would call the cops on him and get him picked up. Then finally he, he ended it, right? He ended it, uh, maybe I'm mixing two of them up. Maybe he's the one who ended it. And because he ended it, uh, she started, um, she started calling the cops and saying that he was abusing her and that he raped her. And, and they didn't even ask, right? They didn't, there was no question to ask. Here's the oily rag. <laughs> um, they didn't ask any question. That was a Bill Burr thing. Too much Bill Burr for me. All right. Uh, firemen don't just fucking put out the fire and walk away. They try to find out what happened. They sift through the ashes. Here's an oily rag. <laughs> uh, there's no investigation. And a dude's life is ruined. Fucking ruined. So I got so bad for this guy. Uh, and this bitch was fucking crazy. It got so bad his lawyer, his mom hired him a lawyer. And his lawyer, uh, his lawyer said, all right, what you need to do is have security cameras at work and a security camera at home. So he, he uh, installed a security camera at home and his work's got a security camera uh, so that they know when he leaves uh, and to know when he leaves home and to when he gets to work, right? It takes 10 minutes. So I guess a 10 minute walk from home to work. Um, and they have like fucking video of this bitch like like coming up to his door and like fucking kicking his door and she's like he used to delete her text but his his lawyer is like he can't delete her text anymore so he keeps all her texts and as they're interviewing her as they're interviewing her she's like sending him texts interviewing him she's sending him texts like you know fucking you take me back or I'm gonna fucking or I'm gonna call the cops and say rape me and she come up to the door. They have a video of her coming up to the door. And she's like screaming at him on the phone and like kicking the door and wanting to let, wanting her to let him in and shit. And it's just fucking mad. It's got to the point where uh, his her, her life. I don't know what happened to her life, but he loves her because if he didn't, he would be hammering at her and trying to fucking take her to court. But it's gotten to the point where this is where we can't go as a society. You can have all these fucking bitches, all these fucking hardcore third wave fucking feminazis who want to fucking just uh, every believe every woman. I don't fucking give a shit, dude. The only fucking women I have to believe, and even then, there's only a, there's a, it's a limit, right? There's a certain level where you, you know you just. You need evidence, but on 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 the word alone, I my wife, my grandmother, uh, my mother-in-law, and uh, that's about it. That's about all the women I, I'll take for the word. I mean, there may be a, a couple other here and there, you know, like my boss. Uh, yeah, but even her, she's a little bit, eh, you know. But I like my boss. For 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, you know, I can trust my boss. It's a, you know, maybe not that much, but you know what I'm trying to get at. There's enough trust factor with my boss that it doesn't really matter. 
She's going to do what's best for her. You know, take care of number one. Sometimes, you know, taking care of number one means throwing fucking these number twos under the bus. <laughs> these fucking assistant managers, these number twos under the bus. Um, anyways, uh, so this bitch is crazy. And she's like texting him and fucking threatening him. And it took him months of, of building a, a profile on this bitch. Just building this profile, all this video evidence, all these text record evidence, everything's recorded. He was being taken to jail at least once a fucking month for like three years. Can you imagine if someone did that to you here in the fucking United States of America? And they were blackmailing you, they were lying to the fucking police. That is a crime. In the United States of America. But not in Israel, apparently. I mean he can he can he could he can pursue it in civil, I guess a civil court case or something like that. Um and then there was other things and it I mean, it's it blows my fucking mind. <laughs> so this this taxi driver, he he's he had this woman who threatened to call the cops on him for rape if he didn't take her to all these locations. He took this bitch around fucking Israel. He took her around some big city. I don't know city in Israel uh, they were at, but some bigger city. And he drove her around for fucking hours and didn't pay him. And he says many times the women didn't pay him. Uh... He said one time a woman uh, said she had money up in her uh, in her apartment and she was going to go run up there and get it for him. Uh, he's like, all right, leave something here as collateral, like your phone or a passport or something. You know, you know that's that's what you do, right? You ever anybody ever forget uh, like forget their wallet at home when they're pumping gas and you're like, oh shit, I left my wallet. You know, here's here's my uh, here's my cell phone, just. This is collateral, you know. So you know I'm going to be coming back. It's just a fucking common courtesy, you know, to assure to assure the person that's waiting for you that that you're going to come back for your fucking shit. So you're going to bring your money. Anyway, she got mad, said she was going to call call cops, raped. He's like, whatever, get the fuck out of my car. So he's like, all right, I can't deal with this anymore. So he got a dash cam installed. So, uh, he drove up to pick up this lady, and she gets in the front, and she's smoking, and he's like, you can't smoke in my car. And she's like, I'm gonna smoke. I'll smoke if I want it in your car. He's like, no, you can't smoke in my car if you want to smoke in a car. It's not gonna be mine. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to ask you to get out of my car. And she, she refused to get out of the car. He's like, you get out of my car, I'm gonna have to call the cops. So, um... She goes fucking ballistic, dude. She's like, he's raping me. And and she's slapping herself on the cheeks, right? She's like this. Like like she's fucking getting, you know, smacked by him. It's all getting recorded on his fucking dash cam. It's hilarious. Uh, the bitch can't even see it. He's got like a big fucking dash cam on his fucking car. Um, and, uh... And, uh, get back in the lane. <laughs> what am I at? 19 minutes? <clears throat> Completely insane. She's like, she's went ballistic, dude. It's hilarious. But, uh, people are like, press, people are like, dude, you need to press charges. Women called him up and told him to press charges because this happened to their dads or their brothers where they are going to jail for years. With no evidence. Just a word. Just someone's word. <coughs> and for us who have lived in the United States our whole lives. Uh, and maybe, and even for those who came over here 
who had to pass tests and rigorous tests and had to know our judicial system, had to know the fucking, had to know everything, forward and backwards, had to take tests, had to go through all this fucking pro, all these fucking hoops in order to gain citizenship. The idea that there's a country out there that considers themselves free, where their judicial system has anything that, that doesn't resemble innocent before guilty is an anathema. We can never ever, as as a as a country, reach the point where someone's word is evidence. Because we're human beings. And uh, human beings are lying pieces of shit. And so, uh, you can't trust people. You can't trust people. And they had a, uh, I watched another video where this lady was, oops, where this lady was trying to kill, have her husband uh, killed. And she was fucking around with these dudes and having, these dudes were, uh, you know, for some pussy. I don't know how great that pussy, she looked good, but, you know, these guys were like, uh, calling cops on them and all kinds of shit. One guy planted drugs. And this guy had done some shit in his life already, you know, he was, but it was a white collar crime. And he bought her a house and uh, he was saving up money. He wanted to get, he wanted to get out from under his, um, he wanted to get out because he was on like 32 years probation. He wanted to get out from underneath his probation so that they can move to, uh, move somewhere else, you know. Where they could where they they could be more happy. At least that was the idea. So she tried to hire a hitman. Well, this dude is that's fucking her. He's like, dude. He goes to the cops. He's like, look, I'm fucking this chick. I know she's married and whatever. She's not happy with her husband, but you know, I think she's really trying to fucking kill him. So the cops work with this guy, and this guy and the cops. Um, so he, he, the cops are like, all right, you're going to call this guy and we're going to, we're going to run her through the whole fucking gamut. And, uh, so the guy gives her a number to a cop who's posing as an assassin and the assassin is, uh, the assassin is like, go, takes her through the whole process. They even, they even fucking do the, go to the whole thing where he pretend he's killed her, her husband's dad and everything. And, um, and so they record, they recorded the whole process and this bitch and the cops came in, right? They, the cops came in and they picked her up and they said, well, we found your husband. He's dead. Uh, you know, you know, the whole thing with, uh. You know if he has any enemies and whatnot and whatnot. Uh, so she's she's like naming people. <laughs> she's like, well, maybe this person, this person like him much. He's, he took a whole bunch of money from you know these people, you know whatever. And um, they finally break it there. They're like, uh, we know you're lying. It's like we know you tried to hire. We know you hired a hitman. She's like, I don't, and she denies it. Like, your husband's alive. <laughs> the guy you hired was a police officer. I didn't a police officer. And she, all the way to the end, and then her husband comes up, right? They bring her husband up. And she, like, trips out. And then they put her under arrest. She's like, get me out of here. She's, like, begging her husband. Like, are you fucking crazy? And she's trying to fucking mind. This bitch is clearly fucking nuts. But she's trying to fucking... Fucking trip... Guilt trip her husband into fucking... Not fucking getting her arrested. Bitch, you tried to kill me. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? So, uh... So the guy fucking... Her... You know? The guy she was cheating on saved dude's life. 
So if uh, you got a crazy wife and she's cheating on you and she plans to kill you, you better hope one of them dudes are fucking looking out for your interest, at least that's so far as your life is concerned. <laughs> this dude saved his life. You know? Uh, and another fucking thing I read where, uh, read this story where this guy, he broke off the relationship with this lady right before their engagement, right before they were getting married. And so the lady's suing him for, uh, a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars or something like that and the reason I think he he broke it off so he paid down he paid third like thirty thousand dollars of her debt and they were gonna get married uh, and he found out she owed even more money like she was even in more debt than he thought and he was like look you know she didn't come clean about it or anything I don't know what the fuck uh, if, like she just wanted to marry him just to get you know so that he she she get her debts cleared off. But anyway, she uh, she was fuck she fucking uh, left him, or no he left her and so she sued for one hundred fifteen thousand dollars because he left her. Like are you fucking kidding me? And it was someone arguing on her behalf. Oh, I got a fucking. Can't be busting it. I'm on E. I'm a little bit away from home. Anyways, so I think that's fucking. <laughs> that's some fucking bullshit. And, uh. Frankly, I don't know how people get away with this shit. I don't know how people allow themselves to be used like that. I can't. I mean, at my worst with my ex. Um. I don't think I would ever put up with some of the shit that some of these dudes put up with. One time calling the cops on me for fucking shit I didn't do. Getting me arrested. Like, this guy didn't lose his job. I'm so surprised that he still had his job. Like, over here, you miss a job. You got a good job. You miss a job. You're gone. Right? Ooh. They had a very understanding boss. But in Israel, men are so afraid uh, of the legal repercussions that they won't hire women. In some cases, they won't hire women. Uh, like, legal offices won't hire women as, like, clerks or whatnot. Uh, they've got to a point where people just... They don't want anything to do with them. With females. Men don't want anything to do with these females. And what's hilarious is... Uh, <sighs> is that a lot of people move there and they, they think they've moved into this great place. Like this Russian moved into this place. And uh, he said after like six years or eight years, I can't remember. Uh, his wife started like being out all hours of the night she wouldn't fucking cook dinner she wouldn't do anything she would you know the shit that you know he felt that she she should do that the shit she's been doing you know uh, she just stopped being the wife that he married and uh, regardless of of what you think is right or wrong uh when you stop being the person that that you love, you know, when someone stops being the person that you fell in love with, it's hard to it's hard to stay with that person. So he he stuck it out till the chair to the children were all he wanted to stick it out till the children were all out of school, you know. So they didn't disrupt the student the kid's life in that way. <clears throat> And he said it was the worst decision he ever made in his life. Uh, because he said one day uh, his wife uh, his wife left to go to work. And she kissed him and said, uh, yeah, I hope you have a nice day. And uh, he's like, huh, you know, maybe things are getting better. And he said a few, a couple hours later, 
the cops came and arrested him. And he couldn't he couldn't see his kids. Um, it was uh, it's to the point so where uh, one 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 officer uh, one sheriff uh, he didn't arrest the guy because he knew he was he he knew because you know as a police officer you know you deal with people you deal with criminals all the time uh, you start to get a feel of of. Of, you know, you can tell if someone's a violent person, someone's not a violent person. It's like, this guy didn't do anything. You know, he's not hysterical. She's clearly fucking hysterical. And so he he just, he, he, he said, all right, you know, you just get out of the house. You got a place you can go. And he's like, yeah, I can go to my friend's house. He's like, just go to your friend's house for the night. Um, yeah, stay away from your wife. And then, and then he got fucking reamed because he didn't arrest this guy. Because apparently, uh, it, arresting someone is what you're supposed to do. And I know in the United States, in a, a fucking domestic violence call, uh, a lot of times a domestic violence call is two-way. And uh, they arrest both people. They don't fucking care. Oh, you got a fucking scar on it. She's got a black eye. 